I'll let y'all see it up close. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Rakina. I noticed something different. I got my braces finally. If you know me, you know how long I've been wanting braces. Backstory I was supposed to get braces in middle school, went into high school but i got in trouble so i never was able to go to my appointment but this is always something i wanted and i just wanted to say that before we go into further with the video y'all yeah, just want to say i miss you all so much it feels kind of weird being in front of the camera because i haven't like did a sit down video since korea and also a military video like kudos to me because i got my uniform on i'm trying to make it feel like i'm doing a military video y'all why have i been gone so long i want to be transparent with y'all from there to here my first duty station to my second duty station was very very hard for me tough hard for me i was very down very down like oh my gosh wow this yeah it just it feels weird well i just want to thank everyone who has been encouraging me to get back doing youtube because i've been gone so long people have been like rakina when are you gonna get back into doing youtube where's the videos um we know you have potential like get on your youtube basically <laughs> this video is gonna be a little update of me my life my military life since I've been gone for so long and this year my goal is to be consistent and to be relatable and be more transparent with you all because I've kind of been holding back just because it's kind of hard doing military videos with some of the comments or like just just bringing people into your life sometimes you just want to like keep things to yourself you don't want to really put it out there but this year i i know the videos that i put out will help others so yeah we're gonna go get we're gonna get the content rolling please do before i get any further please go subscribe subscribe to the channel my goal is 1000 subscribers soon asap the fast way <laughs> a thousand subscribers please subscribe and please push the notification bell so you won't miss a video so let me get into my notes because i'm not like this youtube i'm not really used to it doing it so i'm gonna have to get back into it i'm gonna introduce myself just as me being in the military because i don't think i've like really really introduced myself the whole way through so if you all don't know my name is specialist got it as you can see the rank specialist got it i am a 25 lima that is my mos so yes i am signal 25 lima stands for cable installer maintainer that's my job okay so i went to basic training in um fort jackson south carolina went to ait at fort gordon and then my first duty station was camp humphreys korea south korea the girl them lips gotta be popping yeah if y'all want y'all lips popping like mine come holla at me so i think i've never really mentioned my mos i don't believe in a video i don't i would literally have to go back and watch a video but i don't think i've mentioned my job because i kind of wasn't too i guess i would say proud of my job because it's not really what i wanted to do when i enlisted in the army I want it to be something else when I enlisted basically I wanted to be something else but because I didn't study enough for the ASVAB because I was always working I just I just never took it seriously I had to basically pick a job last minute I didn't want to have to go back and study I wanted to go ahead and leave for the military and I just picked my job and it was K 
cape installer that was the most decent one besides like calvary scout or some crazy so this is what i chose i don't really do my job because we're getting phased out meaning a lot of civilians do this job do cable installer doing all that job doing that so we're um getting merged into a different job which is 25 hotel and that will be three mos's into one job so my mos i'm a 25 lima like i said i think it's 25 november 25 quebec or something it's three different other mos's combined with 25 lima that's going to be into one other mos 25 hotel that's supposed to happen in um october of this year it's 2022 supposed to happen that's what they say me i'm trying to reclass that's my goal i'm gonna be transparent with y'all this year i'm trying to reclass meaning i'm trying to change my job in the army also my re-enlistment window is opening in march so i'm trying to yes i'm trying to re-enlist in the army which means add on to my contract for a new job that's one of the incentives is to get a new job because you signed more years in the army i joined the army in 2019 and my ets day meaning when i get out the army because i signed four years it's 2020 three <laughs> i gotta thank y'all the math the math ain't math 2023 so it's 2022 which means march will be a year out from when i can get out the army which means that's when my reenlistment window opens 12 months out yes 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 am i gonna reenlist that's the plan right now i don't necessarily want to like i like the army just everything to me i just i had to stay in that's not the case like i much rather do something else like my passion like something else but as far as trying to make the right decision for me personally right now as far as covid with a lot of people losing their jobs and just stay stability as far as me i feel like i could have got myself together before i get out I just want to add on to my contract, see where it takes me, work on some stuff, get my schooling done, um, work on my business um, more so that may can help me get out. <laughs> um, basically, that's the answer if I'm going to re-enlist to reclass. I would tell you all what I'm trying to reclass to, but I'm practicing not speaking on certain things until it's done that's my problem i'm always speaking on stuff before it's set in stone and then it's kind of like i don't know who's watching i don't know who's you know wishing things against me if y'all know y'all know i don't want to tell y'all right now but just know i'm trying to reclass so hopefully 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 i can get the job i want we'll see if i can get a class date and I'm going to keep you all updated on, you know, how that works out. Why do I want to change my job? Well, like I said, it's not, it, it doesn't really interest me. And if I do plan on staying in the Army 20 years, retire, or long term, I feel like I want to do something that I enjoy. And I don't do anything with my job here because because of the merge is like getting phased out it's gonna be not a job in the army anymore i don't do my job basically i just help out with other mos's on my team but i don't rakina doesn't do 25 leave that's my that's what i joined the army for 25 lima rakina doesn't do or got it especially got it does not do 25 lima stuff it's like i'm doing all this other stuff that has nothing to do with my job it's like i haven't learn much with it i have did my job in well i have done things that correlate with my job in korea i've climbed towers i will insert a picture in here to show y'all and y'all probably like what the 
Yes, um, I have climbed towers and I was scared. As if you know, you know I'm scary. That's the only thing I've done with my job, basically. So it just it's just not it's just not me. I know me and it's not me. It's like I don't wake up just excited to like just do the job, like come to work and do random stuff in a motor pool, like why? I'm not learning nothing is like no end result is just stagnant second thing that brings me into my second part signal points are really really high especially with my MOS since it's phasing out the points are 798 and by points I mean promotion points to get picked up as sergeant I'm an E4 I'm a specialist and yes I'm trying to make sergeant I feel like that would I feel like that would put something in my heart to take care of soldiers because my career so far, yes, I have had very good leadership, especially in Korea. My NCOs were great. Here, it's kind of like, it's just kind of been a little toxic. It hasn't, it hasn't been anyone who has like pushed me or a good mentor. Like, I don't know, somebody who like takes me under their wing kind of and shows me the way or pushes me and helps me guide me like as an nco i haven't had that so for me to do that for someone else would make my heart and i feel like that would make me enjoy being an army a little bit more but yeah the points are maxed out and it's like some people who i've joined with if they have other mos's or whatever like their points could be like 15 or 200 points and me, my points are 798. Sally Sue over here joined a year after me and she's already picking up um, E5 because her points are at 15 while I'm at 798. And it's hard to get points. Like, it is. That's that's how I feel. It's hard to get points. And I don't want to be stagnant in my career. I'm, I'm trying to, like, you know, level up each time so i don't want to be stagnant that's one of the reasons why i want to change my job but that's not the sole reason like i'm trying to change my job so i can get e5 no i want to do something that i enjoy basically okay so i pretty much covered the whole job thing what's my job what i what am i am i gonna re-enlist yes i did um take my fast class back in last august Fast class means to take the ASVAB again to raise your GT score. Like I said, when I joined, I picked cable installer and I didn't really like it because I didn't have that many options. The higher your GT score, the higher your ASVAB score. The more options, the more jobs you have to choose from. So if I could give y'all any advice, it's go ahead and take that ASVAB seriously, study it. That way you won't have to retake your ASVAB, you won't have to go to the fast class. You can go ahead and pick the job you want. You won't have to reclass or none of that. So fast class is basically when I went to class every morning. They have morning and then they have afternoon where you can study. You'll study your math, your reading, whatever your word knowledge, whatever you're struggling with, they'll go over it with you and it will help you raise your score. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Smart is free, and if you know that, if you went to school with me, you know I'm smart. I've had all A's and B's, A, all A's at sometimes. I'm very smart, but the ASVAB took me out. I ain't gonna cap, like, so study. The ASVAB took me out. The fast class really does work, like, it really does help. My GT score, I don't even want to say what my GT score is, was my GT score was low, and I went up, but. 15 points i'm not trying to make this video too long as y'all know i've been in korea i went to korea in august 2019 i stayed there for a year so which means i came back here in a, to the states in august 2020 took leave got to my second duty station in september 2020 which is fort stewart georgia i don't think i ever told y'all that but yes i'm stationed in fort stewart georgia it took a whole toll on me. It's not no sad sort say I can feel bad, but this is just being transparent for anyone who feels the same way or may, be, may go through the same thing or have went through the same thing. I went from 
my first duty station was all I knew. That's that's all I knew was that. So I had so many great NCOs that took me under their wing. I met so many friends out there. I was close with a lot of people because nobody has their family out there. So it's like everybody is close. There is one big family. I got here. I had no friends come here with me. I was the only one. Mind you, leaving from AIT, all like all of my friends went to the same duty station as me. They went to Creed. We all went to Creed. Mind you, I came here. I came here by myself. I had no friends. It was just me. When I got here, it felt so weird. Like I got to the unit and like it was nobody would tell me what to do. Like when I first got here for the week, nobody would say, "Hey, be here. This is where you gotta be." And I'm new. Like, y'all not telling me where I need to be my first day of work or PT. And I'm sitting over here texting the NCOs. Like, huh? I'm new. I'm the one. I'm new here. I'm not an NCO. Like, y'all y'all didn't even tell me what I'm supposed to do. Y'all just acting like I'm supposed to know. Everybody was so nonchalant. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm new here. It's just the, the whole... When I first got here, basically, y'all just sum it up. Because I want to tuck your head off. The people here just wasn't, it wasn't the same thing I was used to. I, like I said, people I worked with in Korea were very on me. They were very, they took care of me. They pushed me. They they looked out for me. Here it was like basically I'm on my own. You doing, you got to do everything yourself. You're, you're all for yourself. And that, that whole thing, the whole just transition, sometimes change is to change for me especially is very tough on me I'm, i've never been that good with change the whole thing took a toll on me and i just had to take a break i didn't want to come on youtube like down and i just wanted to come back rakina i wanted to come back got it i wanted to come back in a positive light so i just wanted to give y'all that explanation of oh, what a freak have I been? Yeah, y'all. If y'all want a story time, like, or a um, video on how I got my braces, because I didn't get them. The Army does not pay for my braces. I pay for them myself. I'm paying out of pocket because I wanted my teeth to be straight. And y'all might be, y'all might say, like, girl, why you get braces? Like, you don't need braces. Why, why did you get braces? Y'all, I've always wanted braces because I've always had a gap. I don't know if y'all have noticed, maybe y'all have or y'all have not, but I've always had like a gap on the side of my teeth. And y'all might say, oh, it's not that big. It's not even noticeable. You can only see on the side. Like, say if I'm taking a picture with someone and I'm sitting on the right of them, it's like I want to move to the left side because I don't want to smile and y'all see that. So if I feel like I'm self-conscious of it, I just feel like I want to change it even though I love my smell. Everyone said, like, girl, your teeth is so pretty. When I went to um get my braces, it's just something that I personally wanted to do. So, it's supposed to be on for like two years. We'll see the change. I'm going to let y'all see it up close. So, y'all, that's basically the update. I hope I didn't bore y'all and I'm like... Kinda, I'm not used to being back on camera, but I, I gotta get it this year. Like like I said, I gotta get it this year. I was just thinking to myself, like, Rikina, how you got YouTube YouTuber in your bio, or YouTube Rikina Lachey, and you ain't posting no content? I don't know who need to hear this, but post, like, how are you gonna get to where you wanna be? if you're not consistent or if you're not posting that's advice to y'all and that's advice to myself as well because who knows if i could have been if i would have been posting consistently i might have would have been able to get out the army shoot who knows i might be doing something way bigger and i don't know but i just i just woke up literally like uh, self awakening like Rakina post your videos you never know who you're gonna help out I'm gonna try to be more transparent y'all as well as as well as being dual military in the army it's very very hard 
um i'm gonna make several videos about that being married in the army both and i got so much videos please please y'all stay with me because i'm gonna give y'all more content let me know what videos y'all want down below and also my tiktok has been going tremendously like my tiktok has grew so fast and i do post a lot of military content up there a lot of military videos please if you're not already follow me follow me on tiktok at rakina lachey make sure y'all subscribe because i'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers i was supposed to say some notes a thousand subscribers and please please stick with me y'all i love y'all so much thank you for watching this update i hope y'all enjoyed the video on what's going on with my life i miss y'all so much i love you guys bye